to my channel. Today I wanted to review the Prima watercolour confection sets. This video is not sponsored so I can assure that all comments will be 100% honest. The two sets that I own and have already used are the Classics and Tropicals. The packaging shows the colours that are included and labels which series the set is. Prima has released five series in total which I plan to get someday, but for now I will just review the sets that I already own. displaying all the five series under their swatches, numbers, names and level of light fastness. Light fastness is a term used to describe the paint's resistance to fading after exposure to light. The majority show three stars which means excellent, however the only ones that show less are Candy which is number two in the classics and Wildberry which is number 23 in Tropicals. As you can see the box has ten mixing wells all together which is convenient. The box is also sturdy and has a thumb hole on the back. I'll also note that the space in between the pans is conveniently larger which allows space for extra pans to fit. Pans do tend to move around a bit even when the metal on the side is bent, but personally this doesn't bother me and they can easily be secured with tape or glue. Now I'm going to swatch the colours in the chart that I made myself. Some colours appear more opaque than others, and although I love more transparent paints, I did fall in love with the vibrance of these colours when they dried. set has more variations of green, pink and blue. Considering the quality of the box and its vibrant shades, this set is affordable and well worth its price. I will link the Prima marketing website in the description box. because of the way the paints dry and maintain their colour. The sets are compact, easy to travel with, have space for extra pans or a travel brush and have a great selection of colours. If I could make any recommendations to Prima, I think including a travel brush would be handy and perhaps securing the pans a little bit more. for artists who want to try something new, and given the price, I would recommend these for beginners who are starting out and want to get the feel for watercolour. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time!